Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full face using a lot of Milani products. Some of these products are old, some of them are new, but I will let you know which is which. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Now I don't have certain products here, like a face primer. I don't have a concealer by Milani. So I will just be substituting other products for those products. But for the most part, a majority of it is Milani. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna be using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. Like I said, I don't have certain products and one of the products is a face primer so i'm gonna go ahead and use this all over i actually consider this a dupe for the milk makeup hydro grip primer so for the center of my face i'm gonna go in with the revolution pro pore perfecting primer i love this primer you guys know if you've been watching my channel you see me use it all the time so because i don't have an eye primer i'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie it's the nyx professional makeup eye primer and this one's in the shade skin tone i absolutely love this nyx eye primer i used to use this all the time so i recently repurchased a new one as you can see the plastic's still on there but that's the tone of it this is a really really good primer guys they also have one that comes in like a white shade but if you put on your eyelids and you're trying to wear like a really nice bright color it will give that color some pop so yeah so if you're looking for something like that i would definitely go in with the white shade but i really like the skin tone shade so that's the one i'm going to use today and i'm just going to go ahead and place this on with my finger my hands are clean so i'm just going to place that all over so i'm going to set my eyelids with the ofra banana powder so I don't have a new Milani eyeshadow palette, but I am gonna go in with this one called Most Wanted. This is one of my favorite palettes from Milani. It's more of like a cool tone, neutral tone shade palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this. This palette doesn't have any shade names. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and apply the palette. I'm not gonna do anything extravagant today, but I did wanna put some shadow on. So this is gonna run through. I'm gonna play a little bit of music. You guys can see what I put on and then we'll get into the other products. right now so we're gonna go in with foundation I'm gonna use my screen queen foundation at the shades 380 and 340 so I'm just gonna take a little bit of both and mix them in together and then I'm gonna go in with this new sponge that I picked up by Milani it's called the perfecter duo and it's two blending sponges this is what the packaging looks like I am gonna use both of these sponges today so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out wet them really quickly and then we'll come back and get into the foundation all right so I wet the sponges this is what the larger one looks like. It's got a flat edge, and then it also has a flat top, which is kind of different because most of the time you see them like with a pointy top. This one also has a flat edge and a flat top. So I'm gonna use this one for my under eyes for concealer, but I am gonna use this one with my foundation today. I pumped like half a pump of each onto the back of my hand, and then I'm going to go ahead and just apply this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and blend. I'm gonna blend with the flat side of the sponge. The sponge is really nice and very squishy, so it's really nice and pliable. And I love this foundation, guys. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore. It's applying the foundation on really well, not soaking up any of the product. I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I like full coverage.
So for concealer today, I'm gonna to use the Glamouflage Pro Full Coverage Concealer by Hard Candy. I have sand and warm light. So what I'm gonna do is put sand on and then add a little bit of warm light just kind of right here where I can just kind of brighten up the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this really quickly and I'm gonna run through this as well. So now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. If you're new to my channel, I always use this product to cover up hyperpigmentation. I feel like it's the best product for it. And because this Milani foundation isn't like super full coverage, I wanted to go ahead and apply my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. So I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna set it with the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Medium. I love this number seven powder. It's so beautiful on the skin. So I'm just gonna press that, press that all over. And then to set my under eyes, I'm using the Laura Mercier Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder. All right guys, I did my eyebrows really quickly. So now I'm gonna go in with this suntan bronzer. It's their silky matte bronzer. So I'm really excited to use this because I know these are really good bronzers. I think I had the lighter shade than this before and the medium shade really didn't show up really well on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with this Real Techniques brush. I'm just gonna bronze up my face. Oh yeah, this shade is way better for me. Yeah, this is the perfect shade for me. So I purchased four new cheek products from Milani. I purchased two of their cream blushes and I also purchased their newest fake powder blushes. These are the shades here. Now I have used this one and it is gorgeous on the skin. It's called Coco Felicita. I think that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, this one is so, so beautiful on the skin. It looks really pigmented and scary in the pan, but really guys, when you go in with this, just use your brush very lightly on it and then go onto the cheeks and oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. I am gonna swatch it for you guys. I think I've worn it in two videos here lately, so you have seen it on my skin, but I think it's just one of the most beautiful shades that they've come out with, but that's it right there. It's kind of like a, kind of like a brown peachy shade but it's super, super gorgeous on the skin and it does have that luminosity to it. So the shade that I have not used is the Sunrise Serenita. I think that's how you say these. I think there's a Spanish flair to those names. I may be wrong, it might be Italian, I don't know. But this is what that shade looks like. It's super gorgeous, guys. It is like a burnt type of orange. It's not like peachy, it's more on the orange side. I'm gonna swatch it and then I'm gonna put it on my skin. I'll Oh my gosh, yes. It's got like this orange tone to it, but if you look really closely, it has some yellow in it. It kind of comes off like a duochrome type of blush, but that is it right there. I don't know if you guys can tell that it looks kind of yellow if I shift my hand back and forth. But yeah, I cannot wait to put this on. I think it's gonna look so gorgeous on the skin. Super excited about that. And then I purchased, of course, these two cream blushes. I've used this one, it's called Nude Kiss. This one's so stinking pretty on the skin, but look at this right here. Isn't that gorgeous? These cream blushes, they last, they look beautiful. They have this like slight glow to them that make the skin look really nice and healthy. So I really do like these cream blushes. I only purchased two and I wish I got a few more, but I'm gonna wait till they come in store. I actually had to purchase these online because I have not seen them in store yet. But that is Nude Kiss at the top right there. So the other shade I bought was Blushing Berry. That is a beautiful shade as well. I think what I'm gonna do is use Blushing Berry today so you guys will see. But that's it right there. It's a really beautiful berry tone shade that I'm kind of thinking will give your cheeks that flush look. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try this one on because I haven't tried this one and I'm really anxious to do so today. So I am gonna try this one. Let me get a brush. I'm just gonna go in with this Morphe R10 brush and this is what I get off on the brush. So that just tells me that it's going to be really pigmented. 
I am gonna tap it off on the back of my hand just so that I don't get too much. But I'm going to put that into the skin. Oh yes, that is super gorgeous. That's just what I thought it would look like. Kind of reminds me of Taj Mahal from NARS. So this could be an actual dupe for that one because it kind of reminds me of that. I don't even think you need highlighter, but I am gonna put on a little bit of highlighter today. But honestly, with this blush, I don't think you need it. There's so much glow there. So I want you guys to see how these cream blushes go on. They go on really, really nicely on the skin. Now, what I've been liking to do with these cream blushes is do what I call the Patrick Ta method. Basically, it's just putting your cream blush on top of a powder blush. So I am going to do that with this one. I am gonna go ahead and mix it in with this one, even though they're kind of not in the same color family. Um, I still want to go ahead and show you. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and then I'm just going to tap that in. And I'm mainly gonna stick back here in the back so it doesn't look like too bad. But do you see how pigmented those are? They are really, really pigmented. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. So you just wanna be able to put enough on your brush where you can blend it out really well. So don't go ham into that cream blush because otherwise it's just gonna come off really harsh on the skin. So yeah, I would just recommend just going in very light handedly and then just blending it out. So now I'm gonna go in with this baked highlighter. It's the Bronze Splendore or Splendor Baked Highlighter. It looks like this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones. Just like that. Um, I did wanna show you guys the cutest thing. I got this Luminoso baked blush and it's a mini size. But isn't that cute? It's so tiny. So yeah, I got this. I'll probably give it to one of my daughters because I actually have the regular size one. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. I am gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna place that shade all right here on my lash line. I love this palette like for every day. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a second to the last shade next to the darkest one. And with that one, I am gonna go a little bit closer to my lash line. So the last product I'm gonna go into is the Milani, the violet one. The violet one is actually the lash primer, but this came with a mascara as well. So I'm gonna use a mascara too. So the violet one lash primer looks like this. It actually has a clear wand, which has the primer all over it. And then it comes with this Milani highly rated mascara. That's what that looks like. It's really cute packaging with all the stars all over it. That's the brush there. So yeah, I'm gonna use both of these today. I am gonna curl my lashes with my Shiseido eyelash curler that I've been loving. So first I'm gonna go in with the lash primer. Just coat all of my lashes. So now I'm gonna go in with the mascara. I like this brush. It's grabbing onto all of my lashes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but they look really nice and full, and that's just one coat. So let me go ahead and put another coat on. All right, that is with a second coat. They look really nice. I really like that primer. I wanted to mention a little something about the primer. It says it preps, conditions, and hydrates lashes. It's flower powered with violet jasmine wax to hydrate, soften, and smooth. And then the mascara is a plant-based jojoba complex. Vegan formula protects and conditions lashes. No smudging, flaking, or clumping. Combs and separates to define every lash, which I totally agree with that. It does such a good job of that. So I really do like these so far. I really love the primer. I really didn't think that there would be a big difference, but I really feel like this kind of helps fill in like maybe a little bit of those sparse areas and you know makes the lashes separate a little bit better. And then once you put this on, it adds more volume and length to my lashes. So really do like these two products. That is the first time I've used those, but so far so good. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Smudge Proof Mascara for my lower lashes. And I'm gonna do this really quick off camera so we can just kind of speed through this. All right, for lips, we're gonna go in with the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in Saucy Toffee. 
This is such a beautiful lip liner. It's like the perfect chocolate brown. These understatement lip liners are super creamy on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips really quickly. And for lipstick today, I'm gonna go in with the Bold Matte in I Am Awesome. I love this shade of lipstick. It's like this peachy nude, really beautiful. These are also creamy as well. I love the look of those two lip products together. They're just really pretty on the lips. All right, so for my last product, I am gonna go in with the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last setting spray. I love the original Make It Last setting spray, and I especially love this one because it's mango coconut. I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with this. Okay guys, I wanna go ahead and go over two of the products that I used today that were really new to me. One of them I've already gone over and it's the mascara and the lash primer. So far so good with this product. It did lengthen my lashes, gave it a little bit more volume. The lash primer is outstanding. I really feel like that lash primer helped fill in like sparse areas where I needed some fullness. So yeah, those are my thoughts of the mascara and the primer. So the other two products that I used today that were new to me are these sponges. I love these. These are so good, guys. They're super, super soft. They also distribute that product onto my skin so well. They don't pick up product. They just kind of blend it in everything really nicely. Everything looks smooth. And so I really do like these. Now I will say that this sponge, the feel of it reminds me of one of the new sponges that I've been loving and that's the e.l.f. marshmallow sponge. That's what it feels like, it's that soft. So if you wanna get the marshmallow sponge, I think that one is only like $5.99 or $4.99. I'm not sure, I'll put the price right here, and then I'll let you know what the price is for both of these as well. Either way, they're really good sponges. I don't know what I would use for that tip there. Um, I guess if I was trying to like carve out my cheekbones you know, with some powder, I could probably use this side, but I really don't know what I would use for it, but I do like that it is flat on top because it gets right under my lash line. This actually just kind of places that concealer like right along that lash line. So really do love these. And then for the blushes, you guys saw how beautiful this blush went on. I love this blush. I'm so glad that I got to use it today. This is another one of my favorites. So beautiful on the skin. And then these cream blushes are so good, guys. They're really, really good. I would actually compare these to the Tower 28 because the Tower 28 have the same type of consistency to them. They have the same type of pigmentation as these do. I'm just really impressed with these. And like I said, I already used the Nude Kiss and I love the way this went on. And the one that I used today was so beautifully pigmented. I just love that it has that pop of color. And not only that, that it blends in really well. Like it doesn't dry before you can blend it out. It's easy to blend out and it looks gorgeous on the skin. So really loved everything I used today. I love Milani products. They're one of my favorite brands at the drugstore. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope all of you are staying safe and staying well. Take care and we will see you guys on the next one.